Good evening, my test subjects, and welcome to another episode! <laughs> I mean, another video. I mean, it's not really another episode. It's kind of like a new series going on nowadays called Return to Castle Wolfenstein. <laughs> this is kind of like Wolfenstein, you know, the new order, but older, so... It, it, it's, a, it's a Wolfenstein game, but we're going to be playing this. Got my new Yeti microphone. And also, something that you may not know, I just found out today myself that cinnamon is bark off a tree. Did you guys know that? Let me know in the comment section if you did. I think it's fucking insane. Alright, we're gonna be playing this Wolfenstein game. I, I kinda don't know. Play? Is that what button I press? Oh, okay. Select a skill level. Don't hurt me. Bring him on. I am death incarnate. <laughs> Let's just do bring him on. That seems like a normal level. Office of Secret Actions. Joint Military Operations. Ooh. Oh, there's like an arrow button right here. Oh, a cutscene. Come in. <laughs> Well, Jack, have we heard anything? Yes, sir. We've just received a coded transmission from Kessler, our contact in the Chrysal Circle. And? Both agents have been captured and are being held in Castle Wolfenstein. Damn. Call a meeting, Jack. Yes, sir. All right, gentlemen. Now let's go through it again by the numbers. What did we miss? Well, here's what we know. This is Castle Wolfenstein, located in the Hartz Mountains of northern Germany, property of Heinrich Himmler. Now, we've known of the existence of Castle Wolfenstein for some time, but we've only recently heard reports from our Kreisau Circle contacts in the German resistance regarding bizarre occult rituals taking place there. Now, these characters are part of Himmler's newly formed SS Paranormal Division. A small but elite group comprised of members possessing above average IQs and backgrounds with the occult and or paranormal. The one in charge is this woman, Helga von Bülow. Our Kreisau contact in one of the villages below the castle has informed us that she and other members of the division have been recently deployed to the area. The kraut with the monocle is one Wilhelm Strasse, also known as Death's Head, a brilliant, ruthless scientist who heads up Himmler's Special Projects Division. Special Projects? <laughs> it's marvelously vague. Well, we know it encompasses all manner of advanced weapons research, including rocketry. It's also rumored to involve ultra-secret research into chemical and biological warfare. Charming. <laughs> Charming. <laughs> But at the moment, we don't know how it ties in with this massive archaeological dig near Castle Wolfenstein. So, advanced weapons, rocketry, chemical and biological research. Now, the occult. It still doesn't add up. Well, that's why we sent our boys in there. That's our boys? It's kind of glitchy, isn't it? <laughs> Jack, what are our options here? Well, we could send a backup team in behind them. Or? Or we sit tight and hope that they can find a way out. It's your call, sir. Well, looks like we play the waiting game. The waiting game, huh? Sounds like fun. Alright, so before I do anything, I need to check the recorder, make sure I have things set into a timely fashion. Alright, here we are. So, we got Mission Objectives, Escape the Dungeon by Any Means Necessary and Locate the Exit to the Lower Keep. So, we're Mission 1, Ominous Rumors, Part 1, Escape. So this is mission one, part one, huh? <laughs> All right, orders are as follows. Infiltrate Castle Wolfenstein and investigate increase in activity from SS Paranormal Division. I like the name of that, the Paranormal Division. 
Makes it sound creepy. Gather any intelligence information you may find regarding said SS division and their activities in the area. Kessler, your contact, is a member of a German resistance group called <laughs> Kruzu Circle. He has managed to partially infiltrate the SS Paranormal Division's temporary headquarters and has valuable information regarding their activities. Meet Kessler in the village near the archaeological dig site. You will have further information regarding your mission. Remember, if you or Agent 1 are captured, escape at all costs. Standing Order Number 71 remains in effect. If you are placed in a compromising position where you might divulge information regarding your mission or the OSA, take your own life by ingesting your cyanide tablet. All right then. As always, the OSA will disavow any knowledge of your identity and mission if you are compromised. So basically back in the day, so that way people wouldn't get tortured or anything when they were captured, they would be given like a cyanide tablet where they, if they were like about to get caught or knew they were going to get caught or were in the process of being caught or something like that, they can just swallow the pill and it'll kill them. It'll, it'll, it'll kill themselves like without causing any pain or anything or something like that. And yeah, I, I remember hearing about those. It's, it's pretty cool. I want, I want one of those tablets. I mean... Wouldn't mind having one. Oh. <laughs> Somebody's getting shocked. Come in, Sergeant. Come in. Your orders, Herr Doctor. Go and get the other one. This one is almost finished. Jawohl. Achtung. There's a lot of blood in there. Now, We're close. Again, shall we? A lot of blood everywhere, really. Who do you work for? Somebody died in that cage. <laughs> He's really cautious, isn't he? <laughs> That's probably why. Alright. I'm actually going to check some options to see if there's like... A, uh... Uh, the subtitles, you know what I mean? Is there subtitles? Graphics, maybe? Driver info? No? Sound? <laughs> I don't think there is a, a subtitles option, it seems. That sucks. That means uh, I'm gonna have to, like, know things. <laughs> Alright, so we have, like, a little stabber. Uh, uh, uh. Alright, we can, like, look around, stuff like that. Right click to jump for some reason. Usually, a, and space part of jump actually. All right, we got a luger. So, is there like a zoom in button, or is there no zoom in in this game? I don't know. Let's take a look at the controls real quick though. So, look up. Wait, are we able to look up? Yeah, we don't need to look. All right, so let me page up, page down. Page up doesn't do shit, but page down does stuff. Alright. Learning that. Um Oh. Okay, there is no look down for page page up. Okay. Whatever. Look down is delete. Interesting. Alright. Cool. Always run is a yes. Uh sprint is shift. Alright, jump. Yeah. Cool. Shoot. Attack is mouse one. Reload is R. Okay. Next weapon, mouse wheels. Good, good. Alright. Sweet. Oh, yeah. Okay, so yeah, we can, like, sprint. That's pretty neat. Alright. Is there, like, an interact button? Let me check. Alright. 
right, so uh, move. Misc. Kick us G or X. Activate is F, okay. <laughs> Die. Just kick people. Let me in. Alright, whatever. So we can have my little stabber out. Oh, wow. I like stabbed that painting and it destroyed. Or not really painting, but more like a flag type deal. Wow, you can like put holes in it? Oh, dude. Games don't do that nowadays. <laughs> For some reason. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> All right, let's get in here. Ah, there you are. Shackles that one to the wall and takes the other one off the table. Sergeant, when I give you an order, I expect an acknowledgement. Haha. <laughs> Suck on that cock, huh? Yeah, all these bones they just have lying around. Dang. They like that, don't they? Destroy that. What is this? Interrogation report. March 17, 1943. Subject unknown. Interrogator Dr. Z. Very little information was divulged by the subject. He was subjected to 77% standard current before expiring. We did discover a cyanide tablet hidden in a compartment on the subject's boot. This discovery leads us to believe that he and his accomplice are allied spies. Although we have not determined at this time which agency may be working for. I believe that I will receive, achieve better results from his accomplice. Subject time of death, 1535. Wow, he failed to eat his little tablet. What's up, buddy? Is he already dead? say he's about to be. <laughs> oh yeah, he's he's already dead. Interesting then. Alright, cool. So I guess we'll go look around places, I suppose. Because that sir already died. Stabs so fast, it's just absolutely amazing. Oh, an MP40, hell yeah. And some some bullets. I guess I don't need that stuff, so I can't take it. Alright, you could destroy uh, the Nazi flags, which is pretty cool. Right, you could destroy everything. Alright, that closes that. Everything, including this table, if I can. Oh, jeez! I have attracted somebody. He's dead. All right. What is this? To all watch personnel, from Major Jurgen. Subject alert status. As you are all aware, the SS Paranormal Division has had tremendous success in their recent archaeological efforts near the village. However, Oberstelge von Bülow is extremely displeased with the level of security at Castle Wolfenstein and the village near the excavation sites. And I cannot stress how important this operation is to the, re the Reich. Or however you say it. I haven't played enough World War II games to know. <laughs> Two spies were recently discovered attempting to infiltrate the castle. With this in mind, I caution you. Any breaches in security determined to be caused by watch personnel will be dealt with in the harshest manner possible. Regards, Major Wilhelm Jurgen. Alright. I like how they just have that posted. Alrighty, so. Let's head up here. Destroy that little sign. Same with that one. <laughs> so, I don't know. Destroying this stuff is probably not really useful. Oh, look how cold it is. It's all frosty here. I like it. 
getting 90 frames per second. That's crazy. Go down here. Oh, he's following me. His little booty. All right. Bring it on, bitches. <laughs> All right. All right. Got some grenades. Ooh. How do I use grenades? I wonder. Grab some of this health. See, I remember playing Medal of Honor Frontline. I thought that was like the most amazing World War II game ever. I still think it is. I love that game, Medal of Honor. It's just amazing. Okay, somebody's really trying to shoot. Look at that dude. It's all risky and stuff being up there. <laughs> Alright, can't get in there. Right, let's climb this castle then. Yeah, it's like locked at 90 frames. So I think it might be just 90 frames. Game, which is kind of weird. Because usually they're like 60 at a lock. And this is a pretty old game. This computer would go to 90 frames per second. That old. I guess it's like the alarm system. So I can turn it off, I think, right there. Yeah, it turns it off. Coolio. Yeah. What we got here? Binoculars. MP40. In a suicide window. <laughs> what is this? Oh, is it like a ladder symbol? Where? Oh, right here? You can climb this? Holy shit, you can. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that dude almost had me killed. I'm almost dead. <laughs> Already. I'm dying, guys. My, my death is inevitable at this point. There's a flag. Alright then. Hello! I know, I know I saw like some healing items here. Definitely grab those. Good, are you using a rifle? A Mauser rifle. Cool. Alright. I don't know. Oh. Person down there shooting up. Yeah, I was about to say, pick that damn thing up. Wow, that's like an insta-kill with this gun, but this gun's like a powerful looking gun, too. Alright, looks like a... I don't know if I want to fall, though. Probably keep going this way, right? No, not really. <laughs> Alright, well then. Hey! Don't close on me. so good at their aiming. It's kind of realistic, though. Alright, anything else in here worth grabbing or something of that sort? Alright, so that's how I get to this area. Alright. Oh, there's multiple ways you can go. That's pretty neat. Not, not very many in multiple, but a few. I seriously die? Oh my god. That was quick. <laughs> How far away do I start? Wow, I like the very beginning. That's crazy. Wow. I have to do a lot of this stuff back there. At least it was quick. It was a pretty fast paced game. <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna let you fuckers kill me this time. Oh, 
few of these people in there. Oh, hey, hot meal. That filled me up. Up my life bar quite a bit, didn't it? Damn straight it did. Thankfully. I could have used that a lot earlier. <laughs> Alright, so it's back there. This way, looks like another set of food I can't grab. Some ammo, all decent finds. All right, mission stats. Oh, there's a bunch of secret areas. No, where? Oh, I'm gonna find them. Alright, hang on, hang on, hang on, I got this. Treasure zero of nine. Oh, yeah, time. I'm gonna find these secrets. Hold on. Hold your hold your wanker. There ain't no secrets in this fucking area. Ow. Where the hell are our secrets here? A secret? That looks like a secret. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. Where's the exit? I think it was this way, wasn't it? I'm just gonna leave. So I think those notes I, I got in like the last little thing, but I didn't get this time because I didn't bother reading. There are uh, objectives to it too. That would be counted as treasure. I don't know. It'd be the mission now. <laughs> that was easy. I didn't think that they had that place in a complete guard, but it doesn't. Alright. I'm gonna end this episode here. In the next episode, we will take on part two. I wanna thank you all for watching, and remember, stay hypnotized. <laughs>